All right, boys and girls, today we're gonna draw a Picasso self-portrait. What does that involve? Well, when you think about Picasso, he was the artist that developed a special kind of art called Cubism. It makes it sound like it's somebody from Cuba, but it's not. It means thinking of things that are like a cube, a three-dimensional shape, and then turning it into something flat, but you can still see all the sides. All right, if we're gonna still see all the sides of our face, that means we'll have to see the front of our face and the side of our face. So here's how we're going to start. The first thing I want you to do is just have your paper in front of you going portrait. Well, that's easy because we're making a self portrait, right? So I have my portrait, not landscape, portrait paper in front of me. And I'd love for you to please use a pencil. Now for the demonstration, I'm gonna use a Sharpie, take some risks. Let's all hope this works out. Here we go. I'm going to start by drawing what would be a side profile. That's like looking at yourself from the side. So I would have my forehead. You can see I'm sort of starting the upper part of my paper. I would have my eye, my nose, and then my mouth, my chin, my neck. I'm gonna stop right there. I'm going to then on this side, complete what my picture would look like. So my eye would be here. The front of my eye, that glassy moist part of your eye is round, right? So it would be like this. And your eye comes down to the corner on the outside of your eye. Take a moment and just put your finger on the edge, outside edge of your eye. That's where it comes to a point. Can you see that I'm looking sideways in this picture? I'm going to put in my iris, that's the colored part, my pupil, I could color that in. And then if I want, I can start maybe outlining my eyebrow, <laughs> that's a fuzzy little eyebrow. And then I could do my lips. So far, so good. Now, remember, don't color things in with your pencil, especially things like your hair and your eyebrows, or it'll make them look gray and it'll make you look like a grandma or a grandpa. And we don't want that. Okay, now we're gonna do front facing profile. That would mean that my mouth would look as though I was looking right at my mouth. Weird, right? And then here's my nose and my other eye would be here. This is like a football shape. You draw a line that's an arc like a rainbow up, a line that goes down, maybe put in an eyelid Think of your iris, the colored part of your eye, like a marble, a circle, and you don't quite see the top or bottom. Then I put in my pupil. I have a black marker, so I'm going to color it in. Let's make my eyebrow for this eye. Remember, don't color it in. Okay, well, I've got a face, but geez, where is my head? And where is my hair going to go? And how about an ear? Oh, let's do ears. This will be funny. Okay, over here, thinking about the edge of my eye going across, that's where the top of our ear is going to be. You don't have to draw an ear that's like a real ear, but this is a portrait. 
And you know, some people have earlobes that are connected to the side of their head, and some people have like a loose earlobe. I have a loose earlobe. And I also have hoop earrings. I'm gonna put my earrings in there. I'm gonna put another line in here for my ear. Okay, how about over here now? I'll do the top of my ear. And I kind of end this one around the same way, but this is more looking at it from the side, or the front, excuse me. Okay, are you ready to finish this and make it look like an actual person's head? Okay, so let's start up here. Got our forehead, comes around. And this is kind of where hair would be. And my hair, I don't have bangs, so I'm just gonna go like this. I can add more as I go if I feel like I didn't quite love the line that it started off as. See that? I just kind of add it, add it as it goes. And then my hair comes down here. I can make my neck. And this is the top of my shoulder, right? Okay. Coming down, there's my hair. And on this side, I can continue my hair down and continue my face to the chin, to the neck on this side. There's the top of my shirt. Put in my shoulder. Remember, I'm not gonna color this in. Just doing an outline of my hair. I can put in some of these lines. There we go. And then maybe have a little corrections. Just make that fit. Don't worry too much about getting it so exact and getting it so perfect, exactly the way you want it. Art's not like that. And Picasso certainly would never have worried about that. Okay, my picture is a little off center. Can you see that? Well, I kind of like it that way. I mean, that's very, very Picasso of me, if I do say so myself. And now I can think about what sort of things I can do in my background. I can do some sort of a interesting, cool design back here later, or maybe draw some pictures of things that go with me. Maybe I would draw a picture of my bunny rabbit and make him a cubist bunny from the side and front view. So that is how you draw a Picasso self-portrait. Give it a try, and next time we get together, we're gonna talk about how to color your picture. I'll see you then.